Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So I've got this Eligu basic starter kit. It's like an Arduino kit. I'm sure you, most of you have probably seen this, but if you haven't, they sell them on Amazon. This kit's like 10 quid or something, and then they've got like a 20 quid one, 30 quid one. It's like robotic stuff. So they sell these kits, and then they also have these PDFs that you can download. They'll actually uh, like teach you how to use it. So what I've done is I've gone onto their website and I've downloaded their basic starter kit PDF. So the plan with these kind of like video series is to go through the tutorials that they teach and then see how much I can learn. I'm guessing it's not going to be that much, but I don't have literally any experience right now with these Arduino things. So this is the Arduino in here. So it's not actual Arduino. It's um, This is Eligu, but you, the Arduino, Eligu, it's, it's all the same kind of thing, really. Basically, Arduino is open source, so people just copy it how they wish. And then it just comes with a bunch of components. So depending on which kit you get, so this is the basic starter kit. Depending on what kit you get, then they'll give you a PDF that you can download and basically do a bunch of like tutorials for that specific kit. All right, so I think the first thing I need to do is download Arduino. All right, so I'm installing Arduino now. They give you some instructions here to do. So I'm going to do those. Apparently, I need to copy a folder, which is called Copy Me First. Yeah, and the good thing is they have some data issues, which is nice. So it seems to be like a very well thought out tutorial process that they've got here. Although I find the instructions here a little bit confusing. But apparently, I install Arduino, um, the software, and then I need to plug in the Uno, the board, to the computer. So let me do that. All right, so the Arduino is installed, and so now I have to just connect it to my laptop. Go into our, our Arduino, type my code, and I should be able to flash it to the Uno, no problem. So let's crack on with the tutorial. The first one is a part one, lesson one. It's just a packing list, basically. So you've got a preface about their company, established 2011. Where they're based? Shenzhen, China. Interesting. They've got their storefronts, tutorial. It's time for beginners. Some of the codes are edited by Simon Monk. Uh, he's the... Um, I've read a few of his books, actually. Yeah, so he's got the art program and Arduino book. So I'm going to hopefully on my channel go through these books as well because these books are very, very good. Like even one for the Raspberry Pi. I'm very, very keen to get into this kind of stuff. So I'm going to go quite deep into that myself. And then it's just got the packing list. So all the stuff that comes inside uh, this kit, which you also have there as well. So no biggie. All right. So that's uh, the tutorial one. Let's do tutorial two. All right. So inside the main Eligu folder that you get, then you they've got an English folder here and then they've got part one preparation, part two module learning. I think I've done everything in part one, which is first look at Arduino's. Windows setting up the development environment for Mac and then blink and add libraries. So let's have let's have a look at this um first look at the Arduino. I know very well what they are, but I don't actually know my way around the board really. Introduction of the board, okay. So six volt, twelve volt barrel jack. Volts, every Arduino board needs a way to be connected to power source. So Arduino Uno can be powered from USB cable from your computer or wall power supply like this that is terminated in a barrel jack. Okay, all right, so I'm okay with that. Let's carry on. So setting up windows. I'm pretty sure I've done everything in here, but let's just have a look. So I've got Arduino. Uh, okay, that's, that's done. Yep, all of that's done. Ah, okay, this is interesting. I didn't do this. Okay, so open Arduino IDE, select tool, board, Arduino, Duino, Uno. Select tool, port, com. Okay, so let's do that now. So tools, port, com, for Arduino, Uno. So if you see Arduino, Duino, Uno, it means connected correctly. So what did I see? Port, Arduino, Uno. So that, that's sorted. And then blink and add libraries. Lesson five, blink, add libraries. In session, you will learn how to program your Arduino, your Uno R3 controller board to blink the Arduino's built-in LED. Okay. In addition, we need to learn how to add libraries for which we can use library functions in future. Learn to expand Arduino functions more easily. Okay. Like that. Okay, so is this orange LED? That's the one it's referring to. It also has a single LED that you can control from, from your sketches. 
This LED is built onto the Uno R3 board and is often referred to as the L LED as this is how it's labeled on the board. Okay. You may find that it already blinks when you connect to the USB plug. This is because the boards are generally shipped with the blink sketch pre-installed. Okay. In this lesson, we will reprogram the Uno with our blink own blink sketch and then change the rate at which it blinks. In, less, in lesson, I don't know what it means in lesson. You set up the Arduino ID and made sure. Oh, okay. So this is supposed to be like lesson three or something or two. You could find it right. Yeah, blah blah. We've done that. Uh, the Arduino IDE has a large selection of uh, a large collection of example sketches that you can load up and use. This includes an example sketch for making the LED blink. Load the blink sketch that you will, that you will find in the IDE's menu system under File Examples Basics. So this is alright. I mean, you know, considering this is Chinese, you always expect it to be some dodgy translations, but these translations are right. So what we what we said here is to go file examples basic examples basic and then blink okay that's done so then when the sketch window is open opens enlarge it so that you can see the entire sketch in the window right. the example sketches included with the Arduino ID are read only that is you can upload them to Uno board but if you change them you cannot save them as the file. As, as the same file. Since we're going to change the sketch, the first thing you need to do is save your own copy from the file menu on the Arduino ID. Select Save As. Okay. And then save the sketch with my name, with, uh, with my blink. Okay. So file, save as, my blink here, yeah. save. Okay. So now it allows us to edit it. Okay. Attach Arduino board to your computer with the USB cable and check that the board type and serial port are set correctly. Okay. Click on the upload button, the second button from the left on the toolbar. Okay, upload. It seems to be blinking. It says done uploading apparently. Okay, so if you watch the status area of the IDE, you will see the progress bar. Yeah, next. The status will change to uploading at this point. Yeah, it's finally to change to done. The other messages tell us the sketch is using 930 bytes of the 332 kilobytes available. After compiling the sketch stage, you could get the following error message. So I didn't get that. Code. Note that a huge part of the sketch is composed of comments. There, these are not actual program instructions. Yep. Okay, that's fine. Blah blah blah. The first block of code is. Void setup initialize digital pin LED built in as an output pin mode LED built in output. In this case, there's just one command there which, as the comment states, tells us in the board that we are going to use LED pin as an output. The setup function is called when the sketch starts. Use it to initialize variables, pin modes, libraries, initializations, etc. The setup function will only run once. Okay, got it. Okay, so it's just in like an initial program. That's actually quite cool, actually. You know, in terms of initializing. Alright, so curly braces, also referred to as just braces, blah, blah, blah. Okay, this is all code stuff. This is mandatory for a sketch to have a loop function. Interesting. That's cool. The loop runs over and over again. So you can just put, like, wait in there if you didn't want it to do anything. The loop runs, the loop function runs constantly. So this is more just stuff about code. Uh, digital write, pin num, high or low. So instead of one zero, you put high low. Okay. So to a digital pin, if the pin has been configured as an output or pin mode, its voltage will be set to the corresponding value five volts for high, zero volts for ground or for low. Delay pauses the program for the amount of time in milliseconds per parameter. There are a thousand milliseconds in a second. That's nice for them. Uh, the number of milliseconds to pause. Oh, so you can go up to whatever that is. Four, four. I'm going to guess four hundred thirty-nine billion. Or for 43 billion. I'm not going to go into figuring out. Uh, inside the loop function, the commands first of all turn the LED pin on high, then delay for a thousand milliseconds. Okay, you're now going to make LED blink faster. You might guess the key to this large change parameter for the delay command. Okay, so this is all super simple. It just wants us to basically change. Okay, so we've got something about libraries here. Once you're comfortable with Arduino software and using the built in functions, you may want to extend the ability of your Arduino with additional libraries. 
let's make this LED blink faster. So this is it here. It's currently blinking once a second, right? So let's just change that and then re-upload. So we come down to here. So you go down to the delay. Let's make ours, make it 200. Save and then upload. And now we should get a rapid. There you go. So that's super simple, right? So here's the setup function that they were talking about. So that op that runs once, initializes the pinouts, and then we've got the loop function here. All right, that's fine. Simple enough as is. All right, I'm interested about this library stuff. So once you get comfortable with the Arduino software, blah, 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 yep. Okay, what well, are libraries, how to install the library. Important in the library is the .zip. Okay. Okay. So go to the course where you want to add the libraries. Finally, click on the compressed package. All right, so I think that's the end of the setting up part of this where we've got so english yeah preparation so now on to the actual good stuff so let's get started with led